Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another Marvel Character Talk. Today we're going to look through the classic issue, Avengers 8, the first appearance of Kang, a Silver Age classic key comic. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. The back cover there. And let's look at this. There's the cover corner, 12 center. Can you think of any other... One man whose power is greater than that of the Avengers? Don't answer that. Not until you meet Kang the Conqueror. This is Kang, destined to rank as one of the most unique villains of all time. Wait till you learn his surprising identity. There we go. He's got some kind of force field. He's coming out of his future vehicle. Uh, we've got Iron Man, Giant Man, Thor, the Wasp. Captain America, and who's that? That's Rick Jones. He's not in the MCU yet. <laughs> he was all over these Avengers covers. Uh, Rick Jones. See the mighty Avengers trap. See the teen brigade led by Rick Jones in action. Action, drama, thrills as only Marvel can present them. All righty, let's take a look through. We're not going to read it, but we're going to look through it page by page. Great Kirby goodness. Jack Kirby, Dick Ayers, Stan Lee. Hang the Conqueror. All right, by the mansion. The headquarters. These early ones are great. So many people don't know the early Silver Age stories. Ah, but they're Marvel fans. For me, Silver Age will always be best. And then each decade as they go down, it'll be a little less than that. Silver Age, and the Bronze Age, 70s, 80s. Copper Age, 80s into the 90s. And then after that, the Modern Age. There he is in his cool, floating, invisible chair. Iron Man had a neat look to his masks then. So that is a great ad here. So the annuals, they're already reprinting all the classic early ones. And here you go, the Sinister Six, the origin of Doctor Doom, and FF Annual 2. Now on sale. Let's pick up a few. Here we go. Kang's not the least bit intimidated by these Avengers. Look at him, he sent his Thor's hammer into a, another thing, another dimension or something. There you go. Kirby and the military coming in, all the military. See, Fantastic 419, CFF Annual 2. So they're mentioning Pharaoh Ramatut, Doctor Doom. Key issues. There he is, taking over in the future. Oop, the giant man's got a hold of him. Sucks him into, uh, hey, look at that. Thor turns back to Don Blake. Of course, he doesn't do that in the MCU, if you only know that. These early ones, he was always Don Blake. With his cane that turns into the hammer. You know, he's talking to the military. The Wasp and Rick Jones weren't captured. There he is with his team brigade. They introduced them in... Hulk number six, the original Hulk, the last issue of the Hulk original magazine. Look at that, Daredevil three with the owl. Fury and his commandos, X-Men. See, they're already starting to fall behind because uh, Avengers turned to a monthly and X-Men didn't turn from bi-monthly to a monthly for a long time later. So the Team Brigade has a lot to do here in helping uh, fight Kang in this issue. 
There's Thor having problems. Finally gets back from Don Blake. I'm gonna bust everybody out. Uh, flying ants helping out there. Another ad. Lots of ads here. So they cut back on the number of pages to just 20. So they had a lot of house ads because there was 25 Marvel ads. I mean pages. So usually that was taken up by letters page, the bullpen page, and the ad page. Look at that. Hulk joins Astonish. Mole Man comes back there. And look at that. Only the second appearance of uh, Green Goblin, a great Spider-Man. Torch, Ditko Goodness. No, Kang's not defeated yet. Trying her best. There he goes. So he gets away. Escaped into time. There they are there. Next issue would be the Wonder Man issue number nine. Amortis is ten and Kang would be back with a, a robot Spider-Man for issue number eleven. This one actually did have 21 pages, but it had that, that many ads. And then they've got a letters page was still one page then, and then about their announcements. They haven't quite gotten to the bullpen, bullpen, bulletins page yet. Okay, that's a look through. A mighty key issue of the Avengers, the first King the Conqueror. I recommend this issue to everyone. Thank you for watching.